Happy Monday, CFR. Let's go over this workout. We're going to start with three sets of eight Kang squats, five to ten deficit push-ups, ten bicep curls at a 2-1-2-1 pace. So that's going to be down, two, hold, up, two, hold. Ten tricep extensions, same tempo, 2-1-2-1. Two, one, two, one. And then we have a Metcon. This Metcon looks a little funny. I'll explain it. We're going to do 90 seconds of alternating single dumbbell thrusters. Then we'll do 90 seconds of down-ups, and then 90 seconds of alternating dumbbell snatches. Then the time will go down for the alternating single dumbbell thrusters. So it goes 90 seconds, 60 seconds, 45, 30 seconds of the alternating single dumbbell thrusters, 90 seconds of down-ups, 90 seconds of alternating dumbbell snatches. So we'll do four whole rounds of all those movements. Then we'll get right into our three sets of straight leg sit-ups. I have roll-ups, and then we'll rest 30 seconds, eight reps of those, and then we'll get a nice stretch in. So let's get warmed up. Okay, let's get warmed up. We've got three inch arms, no push-ups. Just crawl all the way out and then all the way in. And three, two, one, go for it. Crawl all the way out, squeeze your belly, and then walk back in, and then squeeze up. Two more. All the way out. Right back in. Good. One more. And right back in. Yep. And all the way in. I just want you to reach your arms to the sky. Come up on your tippy toes. And then interlace your fingers like a streamline position. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Three, two, one. Good. And relax. We're going to crawl down on our inchworm. Hold it in the plank. Three, two, one. Crawl all the way out. Hold it in your plank. Tight belly. Round out your upper back for three, two, one. One right leg steps forward into a lunge. Hold here. Open up your legs. You can let the bottom of your foot open out. And then I want you to bring it right back in. Press it out. Right back in. One more. Press it out. Right back in. Walk your hands up to your knee. And you're going to twist towards the sky three times. So twist towards the sky and then come back to the floor. Twist towards the sky. Come back, one more. Twist towards the sky, come back, hold, sink down a little farther for three, two, one. Both hands to the floor, switch, right leg back, left leg forward. And we're gonna open up the bottom of your foot. So open and close, open and close. One more, open and close. Left hand goes to your left thigh, twist to the sky three times, twist. And come to the center, twist, come to the center, one more, twist, come to the center, both hands to the floor, sink down into your hips for three, two, one, left leg steps back into your plank, push your booty to the sky like a downward dog, head through, and hold, good, and right leg steps right back forward where we just took it away from, so right leg to your right hand. Both hands come to your right thigh, and then lift your chest all the way up, and hold. Sink down into your hip, squeeze your belly, squeeze your booty, and then left arm is going to go to the sky, right arm goes to the sky. If you can't interlace them, side bend towards your right leg. Three, two, one, both hands to the floor, right leg back, left leg forward, both hands to your thigh. Walk it on up. Squeeze your butt. Squeeze your belly. Breathe. This time, right arm comes up. <clears throat> left arm comes up. Interlace. Squeeze everything you got. Side bend towards the bent front leg. Three, two, one. Good. Both hands to the ground. <clears throat> We're going to do mountain climbers. The mountain climbers are going to look like this. We're just going to replace our feet. So we're just going to step and then step forward. Let's do four of these. And three, two, one. One, go forward, left leg forward, push it back. Right leg forward, push it back. Two more, good. One more, in with both feet back. I want you to do five scout push-ups. Just relax into your shoulders for five. Push away, four, three, two, one. Good, bring your knees down. We're all gonna do bent knee push-ups. Push your hips forward. Bring your heels to your butt. Squeeze your belly. Three push-ups all the way down right here. Go three. Push-up. Two. Push-up.
push up once. Push up, good. Go all the way down and just relax. Right arm comes to a corner. We're going to do our scorpions. Left arm is bent. Left leg goes up and over. Three, two, one, switch. Yep, let's do that one more time each side. And switch. Good, and come back. Push back up. Come down to your hands and your knees. We're going to bring our right leg through. Full face kind of at a diagonal. So right leg right through into 90 degrees. And then left leg is going to go into 90 degrees. I want you to flex the back foot. Bring the front leg so it's a perfect 90 degree angle. So we're going to yep, bring it just like that. Cross your arms. Twist towards your front knee. Squeeze your belly and then hinge forward. Hinge forward. Three, two, one. Good. Come back up. You're going to twist towards your back leg. You're going to feel it in your groin here. And I want you to hover forward. Three, two, one. Good. Twist forward again. Release your arms forward. You're going to squeeze your butt and you're going to lift your knee up. Just lift. And if you can, lift your foot up as well. Go five. Put it down. Four, three, if you're getting a cramp, just relax, two, one more, one, good, and relax. You can put your fingers on the floor. We're going to twist towards the other side. Check out your legs. Make sure front leg is 90 degrees and flex. Back leg is flexed. Cross your arms. Twist towards your front leg and hover over. Three, two, one. One, come back up, twist towards the back leg, round forward, three, two, one, extend your arms forward, you're going to do five reps, trying to lift both your knee and your ankle, you can just lift your knee, that's fine too, right here for five, four, three, two, one, and relax, make sure we're equal, twist back to the other side, good, hands go down. Come down to your hands and your knees. And then we're going to bring your feet. So tuck your feet under. Bring them to your squat position. Push back into a downward dog. And then walk your hands to your feet. And let's do three Russian baby makers. So booty goes down. Chest comes up. Uh-huh. Booty comes up. Two more. Booty down. And up. One more. Down. And up, and then just bring your butt down. Let's do three air squats right here. Arms out, and up. Three, two, one more. Hold it up, shake it out, and let's get into our three sets of king squats, push ups, bicep curls, tricep extensions. All you need is a kettlebell, dumbbell, or your book bag, and then maybe a couple of textbooks for your deficit push ups. Marge is going to help me go over and demonstrate all these movements for us. The first one is going to be the Kang squat. We're going to do everything with a single dumbbell. Uh, remember, you can do it with a book bag, kettlebell, or dumbbell. So she's going to face a little bit at an angle. Kang squat, shoulders going to be back and down. She's going to keep whatever object she has. Booty's going to come back into a good morning. Then she's going to go down into a squat. Bring your booty back up. And then squeeze it right back up. Good. Relax. So we're gonna do eight of those. I'll keep the tempo for so we don't go too fast. Next thing, next thing is going to be a deficit push-up. Option one, she's gonna do a push-up all the way down. Arms gonna to touch and then dry back up. She can also come down to her knees, heels to her butt. This is also a deficit going all the way down. Boop, coming right back up. Remember, you can always just go down to where you can keep the tension in your whole entire body. Yep, and then come right back up. Perfect, as long as we're keeping that strong straight line that's all we're really looking for. Next are our bicep curls. She's going to show us with one single dumbbell. We did these last Saturday. Elbows in, shoulders back and down. Want to make sure that your feet are directly underneath your hips. Soften. And then the tempo is two counts up. So one, two, hold, down, two, hold. So basically what we don't want to see, do a little momentum one. Just drive it up, drive it down. So we're really trying to get a lot of focus in our head of our bicep. 
Next one is going to be tricep extension directly underneath her head. Yeah, elbows are going to be just like earmuffs, and she's going to go down, two, and up, two, making sure that she's squeezing her belly, squeezing her booty, and good relax. So we're going to do three sets of those. Our rep count goes eight. For the push-ups, it's either five to ten reps, and then ten bicep curls and ten tricep extensions. We'll rest a little bit in between if we need to, and then we'll get into our Metcon. Let's get into our king squats. Pick up your object, shoulders back and down, booty goes to the back wall, and three, two, one, butt goes back, bring it down, bring it up, squeeze up. Good. Back, down, up, and squeeze. Make sure you're squeezing your belly the entire time. I feel this the most in my inner thighs when I'm driving back up. Four more. Good. Last two. Back, down, up, and squeeze. One more. Back, down, up, and squeeze. Good work. Okay, place that down. We're going to go into our deficit push-ups. Marge is using dumbbells. I'm using these textbooks. Get into the position you would like. Remember, you can always come on your knees. And five to ten, go for it right here. Drive it down and up. Most important thing is keeping a strong, straight body. We're going to do eight. We have one more. Good, and relax. We have two more, keep working. Good, shake out your arms, grab your object, going into our bicep curls. Marge is gonna use two dumbbells here. I'm gonna use one. Grab it, shoulders back and down, soft into your knees, contract your abdominals, and drive it up for two. You go one, two, down, two. Bring it up, two, go down, Two. Most important thing here, keeping your shoulders back and down, trying to keep all the work in our biceps. We're halfway. Three more. Good. Last two. Ten's a big number. Last one. Yep. And good. If you have two dumbbells, place one down. We're just going to use one for a tricep extension. And here we go. Get into position. Feet directly in your hips. Squeeze your belly. Elbows in. Go down. Two. Drive it up. Two. The most important thing here is to think about squeezing your belly as much as you can. If you have tighter shoulders, it's definitely a little harder. As you can see, it's hard for me to talk and do this. Last two. You should feel the burn right below your elbow. One more. Good. And relax. Place it down for one second. And then we're already on set two. We'll go right into it. Just shake out your arms for one second. If you need to add weight to your book bag, or if you need to go a little slower in your king squat, go ahead and do that. Let's get into round two. Start with your shoulders back and down. We're going to go a little slower this time. Three, two, hold on. Butt goes back, down, back, squeeze up. Focus on trying to get your chest as high as you can when you're in the squat, but a flat back when you're in that good morning. We have two more. Good, one more. Yep, and relax. Place it to the side. We have our push-ups next. All right, let's go for it. And three, two, one, go for it. Good. 
trying to get the same amount that you got last time. We have one more. Good job. All right. Rest for one second. Shake out your arms. Make sure we're ready for those bicep extensions. Bicep curls. Here we go. Shoulders back and down. And go up. One, two, one, two. Halfway there. Squeeze your belly. Three more. Last one, last one. Yep, good work. Place your other dumbbell to the side. If you have two, and then we're gonna go right into our tricep extensions. We'll take a little rest after this one and go for 10 of them down for two. Drive up for two. Elbows stay in. Halfway. We're on eight. Two more. I know my triceps are burning. Last one. Keep it going. Good and relax. Let's take a little bit of a break so we can make sure our last set is our best set. Okay. We have king squats, push ups, curls extensions, last set, and then we have thrusters, down-ups, and snatches. Okay, here we go. King squats. Three, two, one, go for it. Hips should start to feel a little looser, especially on this last set. At the bottom, push your knees out. Always an option to squat to a bench or a chair if this hurts your knees at all. Two more. Last one. Good work. Place your dumbbell to the side. Let's get into our push ups. We're shooting for eight. If you need to do four and four or break it up a little bit, that's fine. Try and get as many reps as you did the first round. Here we go. Three. Two, one, go for it. We're gonna do one more and then rest. Rest, rest, <laughs> yeah. They have to be pretty. Ready, set, four more, and go for it. Good, and rest. Whew. Okay, bicep curls. Shake out your arms a little bit. Last set of bicep curls. Three, two, one. Go up, two, down, two. Halfway, five more. Check on your shoulders. Check on your abdominals. Squeeze your butt. Two more. Last one. Good work. Place one of your dumbbells down if you have two. We have our last set of tricep extensions. In three, two, one. Go for it. Down, two, bring it up. Two. Five more. Try and work through the burn. Close your eyes if you need to. Three more. We're almost there. 
two more. Sorry, this is our last one. And relax, relax. That was it. Good work. We are done with our accessory work. I want you to grab something you're going to use for your single alternating dumbbell thrusters. Down ups. You don't need anything, and you're going to use the same weight for your dumbbell snatches. Let's go over these movements really quickly. Marge is going to demonstrate them. For the alternating single arm dumbbell snatches, we're going to do 40, we're going to cut the seconds in half. So she's going to give us two thrusters on the right. Drive it up, right, yep. Yep, and then we'll switch. I'll give you the cue to switch arm, and then we'll go straight into the left side. Good. Put the dumbbell down, down up. Since our arms are, we pretty much just fatigue them, just going jump back, and then right back in, and then stand all the way up. So in real time, it'll look like hands go down, back, back, squeeze up. If you want to step this out, so do one where you go step, 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 step. This is a little more non-impact, and then squeeze it up. Good. And then alternating dumbbell snatches. She's going to do two where she goes to the ground. So she'll drive all the way up and then switch. Good. And then do two from the hang. So hang, she'll stand all the way up, booty back, drive it up, and then switch at the bottom there. Good. So if you have any tension in your lower back and just don't want to go all the way to the ground, the second choice is going to be a better option for you. Most important, keep your belly tight and strong as you go down to the ground. Okay, let's go for it. We're going 90 seconds. I'll give you the cue when to switch arms, all right? Let's get started. We have 90 seconds going into our single right arm dumbbell thrusters. The clock is on five, four, three, two, one, and go for it. Right arm, go at your own pace. You can go slow. You can go as fast as you want. I'll give you a 30 second count and then 15 seconds and we'll switch arms. We're at 20 seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Fifteen. Last ten on the right. Five. Three. Two. One. Good. Switch arms. And when you're ready, go for it. 90 seconds is a long time to thrust her. Try and breathe. Thirty seconds. We're almost there. Fifteen. Gotta keep going, keep going. Last ten. Two, do one more. Oh, and, and good, put it down. We're going right into our down ups when you're ready. And go for it. I would take your time on these. Good. We're going to go for 20 more seconds. We're going to make these 60 second intervals. 
20 more. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Rest for a second. I'm going to give you 10 seconds rest, and then we're going 60 seconds into our thrusters. Are you ready? In three, two, one. Go for it. We have 30 seconds on the right. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Thirty seconds on the left. Two, one, and go for it. Ten seconds. I was wrong. In three, two, one, place it down. We're taking ten seconds. And then we are going into a minute of our burpees. I did shorten it because I don't want you to do as many reps. So we're doing sixty seconds of down up. Ready? And go for it. Most important thing here, as you drive your feet back, you've got to squeeze your belly. Try not to let your hips sink. Breathe out when you stand up. Breathe out when you go down. Drive your hands into the floor. Over halfway. Twenty seconds. If you're having a difficult time going down, remember you can always elevate where your hands are and bring the surface up to a bench or a chair. Five seconds. Three, two. One, good, rest for a second. Then we're going into our 60 seconds of dumbbell snatches. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, go for it. Keeping your chest up as you tap the dumbbell. Squeeze your belly. Protect your lower back. And you'll see how both of our arms that aren't working are either back and down. You want to try and keep it from staying on your hip or on your knee. We have 25 more seconds. Ten seconds, you're almost there. Five, three, two, one, and rest. Okay, we are on the 45 seconds. We're gonna do 20 seconds on the right, 20 seconds on the left. We're gonna go in 15. Try and bring your bring your breathing down in through your nose, out through your mouth. Three. Two, one, right side, only 20 seconds. Ten seconds in, ten more to go. Five, three, two, one, and switch sides, right into the left, two, one, go for it. Ten more seconds. 
seconds. We're almost there. Five. Two. One. Good job. Place it down. Five seconds. Going into our burpees. We only have two more sets of burpees. Two. One. And go for it. Try and bring your breath down here. Go out and squeeze and breathe. We're halfway there. We're already nine minutes into continuous work. Working. You can go as slow as you want. <clears throat> Just keep working. 15. We're almost there. 10 seconds. One more. Good. Okay. 10 seconds. We have our last set of dumbbell snatches and we're done with this. Let's do it. Five. Three. Two. One and go for it. Halfway. 
We're almost there. Don't give up now. You have 20 more seconds. 20 more seconds. Last 10 seconds. You've made it this far. Keep going. Keep everything tight. Five, three, two, one. We did it. Awesome work. Awesome work. Rest, water. We've got our abdominal work now. Marge is going to demonstrate it. We're doing straight leg roll-ups. You're going to have either an object or no object straight up. She's going to go chin to chest, rolling one vertebrae at a time, and the dumbbell or object goes over her head, squeezing everything, trying to keep her legs on the ground as she goes up and goes down. We have eight reps. We're going to do three sets of this. We've got three sets of eight. Go ahead, roll all the way down. Straight, strong arms, chin to chest, and go for it. Roll all the way up, and then slow and controlled back down. Breathe. Yeah, everything should be pretty fatigued. Arms, legs, abdominals. We have two more. Last one. Roll all the way down. Make sure you finish the rep. Good. And rest. Whew. You can place your dumbbell to the side or you can just lay here. We have 30 seconds rest. Now we're going to do eight more. No. <clears throat> if you need a little assistance, you can bend your legs, drive your heels into the floor. That'll shorten the lever. Let's go for eight more. Straight strong arms. Three, two, one, and go for it. Uh-oh. Drive up. Set two. Let's go for it. In three, two, one. Right here. Roll it up. Right back down. Four more. Last two. Good. One more. And relax. We have one more set, and then we're done with this. All right, go 15 seconds. <laughs> and back, three, two, one, last set of eight. Fight the urge, just go plunk down, four more. Two more. Good, last one. Good, and set your dumbbell to the side. Bring your arms directly over your head. Reach your toes out and your hands out, trying to make your body as long as possible. Just breathe. For three, two, one. You're going to bring your right knee into your chest. And then you're going to extend your right leg up to the sky. Option two, can you grab a band for March, please? Option to grab a band or a towel or anything that will assist you. You're going to wrap it around your foot and grab it. Just try to breathe into your hamstring. Thirty more seconds here. Your leg is shaking. <laughs> Fifteen. Think about.
about just breathing into that big part of your leg right here. Five seconds. Three, two, don't come down. You're just going to open up your leg. You want it straight, and you want it out, and then you want to bring it up. Any more seconds. Fifteen. Three, two, one. Let your right leg just go down. And left leg is going to come straight up. And lay on the side. Lay on the side. Come on. Couple more seconds here. Good, and open your leg back up to the side. Open it up and then bring it all the way up. Keeping both hips on the floor. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. <clears throat> place your leg down. Place the band or towel down. <clears throat> Come to a seated position. We're going to stretch out our arms a little bit. Bring your right arm across, shoulder down. Don't grab by your elbow. So anywhere up or down, and just bring. Your arm all the way across. If you feel like your shoulder is coming up, drive it back down. And swing. bring your left arm all the way over and across, shoulder down. Good. Relax. If you have your towel or band, you're going to bring your right arm back and your left arm behind you. So if you have the band, yeah, bring this one here, let go of this one, uh-huh. You're going to try and pull them as close as possible. The right arm is the one that's doing the stretch. Some of us will be able to touch and grab, if not, just grab this. See how she's walking her hands all the way in towards each other? If you're not feeling this, you can either stay where March is, or you can grab behind your elbow, do a side bend and pull. For three, two, one, good. And switch sides. Left arm goes behind, right arm goes back. Good. Yep. And you will find that one side is going to be much tighter than the other. Yep. Always an option just to put the left arm back and down, side bend over. <coughs> Breathe into your lap and your tricep. Hold it just for a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Relax. You are done. Good work today. I hope you got as good a sweat as we did. Thank you, Mars, for working out with us today. Uh, special guest appearance by Mr. Logan. I hope you'll have a good day. Bye.